The safety of the AstraZeneca vaccine for young adults has been in the spotlight today. The UK's leading health experts have issued new guidance following evidence that in extremely rare cases, people who've had the vaccine have gone on to develop blood clots. The official regulator, the MHRA, said the guidance was not proof that the vaccine had caused the clots, but it said the link was getting firmer. So, from now on, people aged between 18 and 29 will be offered an alternative to the Oxford AstraZeneca jab. But those who've already had their first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine should go ahead and get the second dose. Now, pregnant women and people with certain blood disorders should consult their doctor for some more advice. And the medical regulator has insisted that the benefits of taking the AstraZeneca vaccine still far outweigh the risks for the vast majority of people. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, looks at the factors behind today's changes. Turn up, get your jab. So that's your vaccine done? The message remains the same, but in future, for the first time, the COVID vaccine you receive will depend on your age. That's because evidence is emerging of a link between the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and very rare blood clots. The UK regulator, the MHRA, said up to the end of March, there had been 79 cases of rare clots with low platelets following a first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine. 19 people have died. That's out of 20 million who received the jab. That's one rare clot in every 250,000 vaccinations. These monitoring systems are now detecting a potential side effect of the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca in an extremely small number of people. The evidence is firming up. The balance of benefits and known risks of the vaccine is still very favourable for the vast majority of people. Very few adults under 30 have died from COVID, so that changes the risk-benefit balance from getting a vaccine. It's thought younger adults are at higher risk from clots after the AstraZeneca jab, about one in every 100,000 doses. So they'll be offered a different vaccine when their time comes. Are you worried that this change, of course, might um, damage vaccine confidence, especially in the young? These are really carefully considered decisions and it remains vitally important that people who are called back for their second dose come for it and it remains vitally important that um, all adults in the UK come forward for vaccination when they are offered it. There was no vaccine hesitancy in Birmingham among those who were getting the AstraZeneca jab. I think the positives outweigh the negatives. Uh, so for me, it wasn't really a question whether I was going to have it or not. Well, you can get blood clots any time. It doesn't have to be the vaccine. I'm not bothered at all. I'm very pleased I've had the second one. Que vous des médicaments. The ah, European pardon. Medicines Agency has come to the same conclusion. There is a possible link between the AstraZeneca vaccine and very rare blood clots, mostly in women under 60. Several EU countries had already restricted the AstraZeneca vaccine to older adults, France to those over 55, Germany to those over 60. Scientists who analyse risk say this change of course should not put people off getting a vaccine. This vaccine is extraordinarily effective. Um, I, you know, it would be tragic if this led to distrust of this vaccine, even worse if it was for vaccines in general for COVID, because it has been shown to be amazingly effective. It saved thousands of lives already. Both Conservatives and Labour urged people to get vaccinated. The Prime Minister believes the lifting of restrictions shouldn't be disrupted. I don't see any, any reason at, at, at this stage at all to uh, think we need to, to deviate uh, from the roadmap and uh, we're also very secure about, about our supply. It's thought COVID vaccines have already prevented 6,000 deaths in the UK and they remain the key to ending lockdown and returning life to something like normal. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. Well, ever since uh, those first reports suggesting a possible link between blood clots and the AstraZeneca vaccine, there have been questions about what it means for the uh, entire UK vaccine programme and indeed people's confidence in it. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, explains the potential problems and the effect that they've had so far. 
Lockdown is easing, the vaccination programme's going well, but today there's been a change of course, raising new questions. First, what is the risk with Oxford AstraZeneca? It's lower the older you are, as the potential for serious illness with COVID is weighed against possible harms from blood clots. Some medication, including the contraceptive pill, also has a very small blood clot risk. Anyone who's had a first jab and four days or more later gets severe headaches, blurred vision or certain other symptoms should contact a medical professional. Today comes from a committee of Europe's regulator known as PRAC drew this conclusion. We know that the benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine have been established. They preve it prevents COVID disease, it prevents hospitalisation and it prevents mortality. So from that, in that respect, um, PRAC feels that the overall benefits outweigh the risks. So will it delay the vaccine rollout? Today, a new jab was delivered for the first time in Wales and Scotland, made by the US company Moderna. It's set to be offered elsewhere in the UK from next week. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Health officials say even with under 30s given a choice of alternatives, they're still on course to offer all adults a first dose by the end of July. So the roadmap should stay the same although it does depend on the supplies currently promised. Of the vaccines currently in use, the government ordered 100 million doses from Oxford AstraZeneca, though the rollout will slow down this month because of supply issues. From Pfizer-BioNTech, it was 40 million, and from Moderna, 17 million doses, though only a limited amount will come through this month. Two more vaccines are being assessed by the regulator, the MHRA, Novavax, where there are 60 million doses on order, and Janssen, 30 million doses. Trials are ongoing with other vaccines where the government has made preliminary orders. So will confidence in the Oxford AZ vaccine be affected? People in younger age groups we spoke to had varying opinions. I'm a bit concerned to hear it because I'm 24 and I've already had my first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine and I have my second dose booked in for a couple of weeks. It's, it's one of the very rare cases that it might happen, but it probably won't. The risk is probably it's, pro it's probably worth the risk, right? I'm still all for it. I mean, I'm going to do a little bit more research now into it, but I still think at this point I would get the AstraZeneca vaccine. It remains to be seen how people react to today's announcement, though one leading official made the point that the chance of getting a blood clot through having COVID-19 was much higher than with the AZ vaccine. Hugh Pym, BBC News.